Yellow leaves hint the autumn season as the days grow shorter. Fall is on the rise. Deep within the dark forest, the crow rests. Intensely dark in plumage, the crow shines with a bold and glistening intensity. Their claws are strong, tail and primary feathers quite rigid. A wide range of moods and emotions are evoked in the head feathers by specific muscles under the skin. This adds an even greater dynamic to the crow's social behavior toward one another. The rapid movements of these dark flying objects hinder the tree's designs in the sky. Like humans, they are well known for a genuine appreciation of a stunning view. The crow is well nurtured by the aged forests. Crows are versatile in their methods of obtaining food. Morsels are held under the feet and often hammered with the bill. Crab, seashells and other coastal inhabitants supply nutrients necessary for the bird's survival. The feasting of human leftovers is also implemented throughout the landscape. The relationships of the crows flourish and grow. Bonds are strong between couples, and yet a social hierarchy breeds tension within the hidden walls of the forest. Hints of individual recognition seem very real within the tree's branches. There is individuality among the complex numbers, as it is possible that each crow represents a singular characterized being. The crows hone their life skills through some unheard of sense of cooperation and circling dark consciousness. Four leaves are replaced with keen eyes as the volume of a previously quiet wood becomes packed with walls of audio catastrophe. The sounds of the crow represent a sophisticated vocabulary that plays an important role in selecting one's life partner. Every audible expression put forth by these birds is unique. Their series of calls are varied in pitch and can carry on for hours as they carry out their distinct daily endeavors. These vocal displays are undoubtedly social. Each call can convey many moods ranging from frustration and rage to tender notes of affection between couples. Individuals often maintain a physical distance from one another, resulting in minimal physical contact with each other. This personal distance could allow for more efficient feeding techniques as well as better takeoffs and landings.
Every evening close to dusk, the crows travel in swarms to a hidden roosting ground. This roost is the final resting place for the night and serves as a constant reminder of how their individual traits and secrets have kept them a thriving species for centuries past. In fact, these mysteries of the crow would lead early cultures to see the crow as far more than just a typical thriving species, rather a powerful symbol reaching beyond what may have ever been thought possible. Winter sets in. The crows begin to group as the day's light grows weaker. In past times, the crows would often represent darkness in myth. Due to the crow's persistence to flourish throughout the generations, the blackbird has stayed true to his representation of dark prophecy. The crow's human-like behavior struck much suspicion within the early century villages, as the birds were often thought of as incarnations of witchcraft. The mysterious and cloaked nature of the crow has always promoted a grim representation when compared to the more exotic creatures of flight. In wartime, it was believed that crows emerging from the hills could mean death was near. The dead soldiers would soon be fair game for the unimpaired vision of the black birds. Often seen pecking at the war slain bodies, the corvids were looked upon as omens of death, not often welcome in a world where life was so perilous. Warriors grew weary of the thought of their bodies being left to these lurking feathered scavengers. The prophecy of the lucid birds was often associated with catastrophic battle outcomes. A deep and respectfully present though for the crows. For even Celtic tribes of the past perceived the birds as significantly equal in status to mankind. The crow's speed, keen eyesight, as well as other superior traits, may have even given the Celtic cultures a reason to perceive the crows as superior to man in many ways. Even the ancient Egyptians looked upon crows as models of domestic harmony and good humor. A pair of crows together could even mean conjugal contentedness. Traditional respect for the crow later gave way and instead of being seen as agents of destiny, the crow was later regarded with distaste, a challenge to humans. soon be hunted heavily around the world. With drastic improvements in firearms and other human-made tools of destruction, the crow is no match to hunters and farmers who regard the crow as a mere pest. The birds would be bombed, shot, and burned out of their roosting grounds by farmers and townships displeased with and unaware of the crow's place in society. 
A brutal societal backlash was brought on by the idea that the birds were destroying vast hills of precious crop fields. When, in reality, they were controlling the insects who, of course, were the true culprits. Later on in history, a bounty was implemented to destroy the so-called black bandits, as humans have always been the crow's number one enemy. The roosting ground of these noble birds has once again been destroyed. They must find a new home for this once complex and social sleeping ground has been torn from its roots and prepared for human comforts. But the crows, unlike other species, possess attributes that seem to transcend instinct. These birds possess a level of intellect that will guide them intimately in their search for a new home. This ability to thrive within a growing and insecure human society is an astounding and noble achievement that simply must not be overlooked. The crow will search confidently until it is satisfied with a new roosting ground. We as humans, must begin to acknowledge and appreciate these neighbors with whom we share our trees and skies. This realization is key, for throughout centuries of ridicule, hatred, and resentment, this bird has managed to possess a level of intelligence and distinct ability to thrive on so little. As humans, we should not only acknowledge, but indeed respect and even learn from them as we move toward uncertain times ahead. A haunting omen for death, and a respected scholar among birds, the crow represents yet another mystery within human society. We will be guessing their tales until we find ourselves victim of our own destruction and lie motionless below our very own tombs. It is upon these gravestones that the crows will perch, among the living, among the dead, and beyond all contempt. autumn season as the days grow shorter. Fall is on the rise. Deep within the dark forest, the crow rests. Yellow leaves in the...
Intensely dark in plumage, the crow shines with a bold and glistening intensity. Their claws are strong, 